Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and I'm here playing a couple different horror games. The first of which is called The Nightmare of the Air Balloon, which is a horror game where you have a nightmare of an air balloon. And that air balloon looks a pretty sus. So, background for this game while we're standing. I'm gonna go backwards? No, I can't. Um, it's part of a nightmare game jam. So, every game part of this game jam were, uh, it's supposed to feel like a nightmare. And this, as far as I'm concerned, this feels pretty nice to me. Nightmares are usually a lot darker and spookier. Hold shift to run? What am I running from? You know, raptors come out of the bushes? I've seen Lost World. Maybe it's just a catch up to the balloon. It's still pretty peaceful to me. Like I, I don't I don't see how this is a nightmare. Yet anyway. I see. Huh. That eyeball was really liquid. Oh, like, there's something over here. It's a lie? I hope you're not gonna show me a cake. Well, except for that eyeball, I really haven't seen anything of note. Except from a hot air balloon. Sup? Seems fine. This hot air balloon is nothing but a PNG file. That's pretty sus. Sus guy. Okay. Interesting. Uh, I think the world is... You're not following me, are you? No. Look out. What am I looking out for? Where am I? Am I awake? God, I had a horrible dream. I saw some streamer's face on a balloon. You're not gonna do like a dream within a dream thing, are you? Because I hate that. Because this looks like a dream right now, because it's got like a foggy look in the room. No, sus! <laughs> okay. That was a game. That was a that was a game, <laughs> or a nightmare, you would say. I mean, it wasn't terrible. Uh, it's, I mean, the nightmare part, the spookiness. I'm not necessarily talking about the quality of the game. Um, because clearly the game is a bit of a shit post. I think actually the scariest part is the the finale with the bed. Because that looked exactly like that looked that looked exactly like a nightmare dream with a fake wake up. Anyway, that's it for that game. On to the next one. So the second game we'll be playing is called Death Trips. Now, Death Trips is... I suppose it's a horror game. Um, it's been around for quite some time. I've never played it before. Uh, and I think it's just because I overlooked it back in the day, just because it had a very generic kind of name. And when you sort through like, all these indie horror games, you kind of like, try to avoid things with generic names, because there's a lot of games out there. But yeah, I feel like this had to play it, because I know this is fairly popular. 
There's like a nice beat going on there. October 31st, 2008, Inspector M. James is in a hunt for a serial killer called Lady Death. The last victim of this dreadful criminal was found in this cheap hotel, where Lady James is currently investigating. Unfortunately for the inspector, the murderer is still there. Sounds like a romance novel. Yes, I got too much anime on the brain. Anyone home? Very nice music. Do I take the elevator or? Yeah. Because I'm about to play like a G mod map. You know what I mean. Someone turn out the lights. Def just tripped. At least I think that was Def. This entire game was just one big pun. I feel like that's the shortest horror game I've ever played. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, there's no post credit scene. So yeah, that was, um... I suppose you could say that's two shitposty horror games. Which is not a bad thing. I think it's better to be a kind of like a joke than it is. Well, there's some weird noises going on in the back of this game. That is to be a generic kind of acid flip horror game, right? But yeah, I can finally uh, cross off death trips off my uh, backlog. <laughs> anyway, so I'll think I'll watch you play these two different horror games. I'll see you guys later and take it easy.